Hello mga ka-alien, welcome back to my YouTube channel, this is Sir DL and welcome to the Aliens Vlog and Math Tutorials. For today, we are going to have another math tutorial and it's all about multiplication of polynomials, FOIL method. Let's now start. What are the objectives of this lesson? Number one, discuss multiplication of polynomials. Number two, identify the rules in multiplying polynomials. And number three, solve multiplication of polynomials. Always remember to delight yourself in the Lord and He will give you the desires of your heart. Again, delight yourself in the Lord and He will give you the desires of your heart. Let's try to proceed to the main discussion of this lesson. Example, 2x multiplied by the quantity of 6x cubed plus 5x squared plus 9x. First step, apply distributive property and loss of exponent. Number two, align the similar terms. So we will be distributing 2x to 6x cubed. 2x to 5x squared, 2x to 9x. So 2x multiplied by 6x cubed, that is 2 multiplied by 6, that is 12. Then 1 plus 3, that is x raised to 4. Another one, 2x multiplied by 5x squared, 2 multiplied by 5, that is 10. Then 1 plus 2, that is x cubed. Another one, 2x multiplied by 9x. 2 multiplied by 9, that is 18, then 1 plus 1, that is x squared. The final answer is 12x raised to 4 plus 10x cubed plus 18x squared. Another example, negative 3x multiplied by the quantity of negative 2x squared plus 3x minus 4. We will be distributing negative 3x to negative 2x squared, 3x and negative 4. We, we will be multiplying negative 3x to negative 2x squared, 3x and negative 4. Then align all the similar terms if we have. So negative 3x multiplied by negative 2x squared, that is negative 3 times negative 2, that is positive 6. Then we have x raised to 1 plus 2, that is 3. So the answer is 6x cubed. Next one, negative 3x multiplied by 3x, negative 3 times 3, that is negative 9, multiplied by x raised to 1, then multiply by x raised to 1, 1 plus 1, that is 2, negative 9x squared. The last one, negative 3x multiplied by negative 4, the answer is positive 12x. So the answer will be 6x cubed minus 9x squared plus 12x. That is the product of negative 3x multiplied by negative 2x squared plus 3x minus 4. What if we are multiplying two binomials? What is the standard way of solving it? We will be using the FOIL method, where F stands for the first terms, 3x multiplied by 4x because those are the first terms, then outer terms, 3x multiplied by 5, those are the outer terms, then inner terms, negative 4 and 4x, those are inner terms, then last terms, that is negative 4 and 5, those are the last terms. Let's try to solve this one using the FOIL method. F, first term multiplied by first term. 3x multiplied by 4x, that is 12x squared. 3 multiplied by 4 is 12. x multiplied by x is x squared, law of exponents. Outer terms, 3x multiplied by 5. 3 multiplied by 5, that is 15, then 15x. Inner terms, negative 4 multiplied by 4x, that is negative 16x. Last terms, Negative 4 multiplied by 5, that is negative 20. Let's try to finalize the answer. Note, do not forget to align and combine all similar terms. Then 12x squared, we bring down. Then 15x plus negative 16x, we have the similar sign, so we will, we will be subtracting it. Then follow the higher in terms of, follow the sign of the higher in terms of absolute value. 15x plus negative 16x, that is negative x. Then bring down negative 20. So the final answer is 12x squared minus x minus 20. Another example. Let's try to use FOIL method again. So let's multiply the first terms. 12x squared multiplied by 2x. 12 multiplied by 2, that is 24. x squared multiplied by x, that is x cubed. Because 2 plus 1, that is x cubed. Outer terms, 12x squared multiplied by 2, 2 multiplied by 12, that is 24, then x squared. Inner terms, 3x multiplied by 2x, 3 multiplied by 2, that is 6, then x multiplied by x, that is x squared. The last terms, 
3x multiplied by 2, that is 3 multiplied by 2, that is 6x. Then proceed to addition, do not forget to align and combine all similar terms. We bring down 24x cubed, 24x squared plus 6x, 24x squared plus 6x. We have same sign, so we will be adding them, follow the sign. 30x squared. Then bring down 6x. The final answer is 24x cubed plus 30x squared plus 6x. Another example, the quantity of 4x minus 5 multiplied by negative 3x minus 4. We will be using FOIL method again. So first terms, 4x multiplied by negative 3x. 4 multiplied by negative 3, that is negative 12. Then x multiplied by x, that is x squared. Outer terms, 4x multiplied by negative 4. 4 times negative 4, that is negative 16x. Inner terms, negative 5 multiplied by negative 3x. So that is positive 15x. Then the last terms, negative 5 multiplied by negative 4. That is positive 20. Then we will be simplifying. No, do not forget to align and combine all similar terms. We will, be, we will be bringing down negative 12x squared. Then add negative 16x plus 15x. We have the similar sign, so we will be subtracting it. Then follow the sign of the higher in terms of absolute value. Negative 16 plus 15, that is negative 1x. Then bring down 20. Our final answer, negative 12x squared minus x plus 20. Last example for today, the quantity of 6x cubed plus 4x squared multiplied by 2x raised to 4 plus 5x. Again, we will be using FOIL method. First terms, 6x cubed multiplied by 2x raised to 4. 6 multiplied by 2, that is 12. 3 plus 4, that is x raised to 7. Next one, outer terms. 6x cubed multiplied by 5x. So that is 30x raised to 4. Because 5, 6 times 5 is 30. Then 3 plus 1, x raised to 4. Inner terms. 4x squared multiplied by 2x raised to 4. 4 times 2, that is 6. If that is 8. Then 2 plus 4, that is 6. So 8 x raised to 6. Last terms, 4x squared plus 5x. 4 times 5, that is 20. 2 plus 1, that is x cubed. Note, do not forget to align and combine all similar terms. But on this example, we don't have similar terms. So bring down 12x raised to 7. Then plus 8x raised to 6. Then plus 30x raised to 4. Plus 20x cubed. So for the final answer, 12x raised to 7 plus 8x6 raised to 6 plus 30x raised to 4 plus 20x cubed. So that is the final example. Thank you for listening. I hope you understand our lesson. In terms of multiplying two binomials, we will be following the FOIL method. That is F, first terms, O, outer terms, I, inner terms, and L, last terms. Always remember to be excellent of what is good and be innocent of evil. Thank you for watching and God bless you. Always remember, God loves you. Goodbye.